you have chronic kidney disease then you have heard of a measurement called GFR but did you know GFR does not only tell about kidney damage then what the heck does GFR measure well I am going to talk about that and more is coming right up hello kidney warriors I am Dr. Amisha and you are watching Bharat Homeo Kidney Failure Treatment YouTube channel. Here you can find so much detailed scientific information on health and wellness, healthy diet and nutrition, yoga, exercise and kidney disease treatment with holistic and natural medicines. Now in this video we are gonna talk about your GFR and help you understand it. Also go over some tips to help improve your GFR and what to avoid that might decrease your GFR. See, if you are new to this channel, please take a moment and click that little subscribe button and hit the little bell icon right next to it. That way you will get a notification every time I upload a brand new video. Now let's jump into understanding your GFR. It stands for glomerular filtration rate and it measures how well your kidneys are functioning and what function they are doing. It's filtering. We look at how much blood plasma has to pass through your kidneys in a certain amount of time to filter out a certain amount of substance and it's given in milliliters per minute typically. Though in other countries it may be a different measurement now that substance that we are typically looking at is creatinine but there could be other ones. But for this video we are gonna assume creatinine. Now as I said GFR measures how well your kidneys are filtering, not the amount of damage. Now, if your kidneys are damaged, your nephrons, those little filters in there or your blood vessels, they are scarring. You have low blood flow that will result in lowering filtering capabilities. Your kidney functions will be reduced. Now, doctors can't measure your GFR directly, so they use one of several different formulas to get an estimated GFR also known as EGFR. Don't look at your race, your age, your gender, how much creatinine is in your blood and other factors to come up with your estimation. They can also do a creatinine clearance test where they collect your urine for 24 hours. Now because there are multiple different formulas available, it is possible and highly likely that you will get different results based on different formulas but they are all gonna pretty much in the same ballpark. Now when eGFR may not be right for everyone, it may not be accurate if you are under 18, pregnant, very muscular or obese. Now your GFR will decline naturally with age even for people without kidney damage and the GFR scale goes from 0 to 120. So let's take a look at some common averages for different age groups. For people in their 20s, a GFR of 116 is average. For people in their 30s, a GFR of 107. For people in their 40s, a GFR of 99. For people in their 50s, a GFR of 93. For people in their 60s, a GFR of 85. And for people over 70, a GFR of 75. If your GFR is lower than normal, your doctor will do additional tests such as urine analysis, looking for abnormal leakage of protein, sugar, white blood cells and red blood cells in your urine. There are 5 stages of kidney diseases and they are determined based on your GFR. Let's take a look at what they are and the GFR ranges for them. Stage 1 is a GFR over 90 with signs of kidney damage. Stage 2 is a GFR of 60 to 89. Stage 3 is a GFR of 30 to 59. Stage 4 is a GFR of 15 to 9. And stage 5, also known as kidney failure, is a GFR below 15. Remember, kidney function will naturally decline with age. While with current medical science, it is not possible to repair kidney damage. It is possible in many cases to improve your GFR. Why? Because GFR measures how well your kidney is functioning, not the amount of damage. Since kidney damage is always present, it is possible to improve your kidney function with diet and lifestyle changes. But then lose some of that reclaimed function through bad diet and lifestyle choices. Kidney patients need to remove inflammation and reduce the amount of stress and workload we place on our kidneys 
so that they can focus on removing toxins and waste products from our blood. Now let's take a look at some of the things that you need to keep an eye out for that can increase creatinine in your blood and lower your GFR. These include some prescription medications, kidney infection, urinary tract obstructions, abnormal muscle breakdown, eating large amounts of meat and extreme exercise. All of these can temporarily increase the amount of creatinine in your blood, temporarily lowering your GFR. Now let's take a quick look at tips to help improve your GFR. These include eating a low inflammatory kidney friendly diet. Staying properly hydrated, getting regular exercise, avoiding supplements with creatinine, taking a probiotic and avoiding the use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen. Also, managing the underlying cause of your kidney damage to prevent further damage such as managing your blood sugar and your blood pressure. And always take all prescription medication as prescribed. And at last, don't focus so much on your GFR. While it is an important number, it is only one of many numbers that show how well you are doing. Both you and your healthcare team need to focus on you as an entire person. How are you feeling? What symptoms are you having? Alright, so this is a complete insight on GFR and how you can reduce it to prevent kidney damage. Well. CKD can be better treated with Bharat homeopathic medicines as they are absolutely safe and side effect free. Bharat homeopathy has a track record of thousands of happy patients feedback. We are a team of experienced doctors who first assess medical conditions, understand the constitution and prescribe customized and personalized treatment. If you or your loved one is struggling with kidney diseases, then no worries. We are here to help you get over this disease. If you like this video, please share and subscribe to the Bharat Omyo Kidney Failure Treatment YouTube channel for more health related videos. Thank you.